One of the most disappointing things when you hear your live stream mix for the first time is how it sounds nothing like it sounded in the room. <laughs> well, I've got some good news for you. Your room mix was way better than the live stream sounded. The reason it sounded nothing the same is because you're missing all the sound reflections and the acoustical energy that exists in the room. Now you can't exactly replicate this in a live stream mix, but you can get pretty close using what's called ambient miking. So in this video, I'll show you what mics to use and how to get it all set up. Before we get started, we just wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Church Sound Made Simple. Mixing sound seems complicated, but it doesn't have to be. Cut the overwhelm by getting access to this stress-free, no-fluff training that will help you create great sound at church. Visit churchsoundmadesimple.com. Well, hey, if we haven't met, I'm Cade, creator of Collaborate Worship, and I'm here to help you create great sound at church. So let's talk about ambient miking. This is simply using two or more microphones to pick up the sound of the room, and then you add it to your live stream mix. These mics pick up the sound reflections and the response from the congregation, so they help make it feel like you're actually there. You can use pretty much any microphone for this, but I found small diaphragm condensers with a cardioid pickup pattern to work best. I'll include a link to the mic I recommend using in the description. Now for placement, I recommend putting the mic on each side of the stage pointed towards the congregation. Place these mics a few feet behind your main speakers. This does a good job rejecting direct sound from your main speakers and gives you a good stereo mix of the room. Now when it comes to height, you can put them on stands at about ear level of those who are on the stage. And this works best if you want your ambient mics to also double for your musicians in your monitors, which I recommend. A two for one is always a good deal. You can always hang them from the ceiling as well. You'll just have to find the right balance between sound and aesthetics and experimenting with different placements is the best way to figure that out. Now connect them to your mixer and then link them together as a stereo pair. If you're unable to link them, simply pan one to the left and the other to the right in your live stream mix. Next, set the gain for these mics while the full band is playing and the room is full of sound. You set gain the same way for these as you do any other mic. I have a video on how to set gain. If you need some help with that, I'll include a link in the description. Now keep in mind, if you're using condenser mics, you'll need to activate 48 volt phantom power. Finally, add a low cut filter at about 300 Hertz, because trust me, you don't want the ambient low frequencies as part of your live stream mix. They'll just make it sound like a big jumbled mess. And that's it. Your ambient mics are now set up and ready to go. Simply add them to your live stream mix to bring it to life. And the easiest way to do this is with the sends on fader control. Let me show you how. Tap sends on fader, select your live stream bus, navigate to the ambient mics and adjust the level in your live stream mix using the faders. Now a good starting point is negative 10 dB and then you're just gonna adjust so that you can hear what's going on in the room, but just be careful not to turn them up too loud because then it just sounds echoey. All right, one last tip. Make sure your ambient mics are not going to your room mix. Otherwise, you're in for a fun battle with feedback. Ambient mics are gonna make a huge difference, but keep in mind the live stream mix is a reflection of what's going on in the auditorium, so you wanna make sure that the room mix is the best that it can be. That's what Church Sound Made Simple is all about. Get access now by visiting churchsoundmadesimple.com. As always, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'd be glad to answer. If you'd like to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up to let me know. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that little bell so we can let you know when the next video comes out. I'll see you next time.